How you doing, Sophie? That's a heck of a good book you've been into. Holy crap, I don't think she's moved since we've left uh, San Diego. Hey, good day, my trucking friends. How the heck are you? Well, we had a little change of plans. Yes, we, uh, we're we going to take that um, that load to Colvis, New Mexico, but uh, we got turned around instead. Our good buddy Nitro Dad, who also hauls for Zeke and, uh, and uh, Jockey, he's taking it. So we are headed off to Colorado. Yep, San Diego to uh, Colorado. We have some fancy Christmas uh, booze glasses, glassware. So we are hauling that up to... Uh, Denver, Colorado. And the good thing is Sophie and I are going to go see some friends up in uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. So we're kind of taking a little detour. But we're going to explore uh, the great state of Colorado. And that should be exciting. I'm kind of looking forward to it. So the whole trip is about 1,200 miles. We are uh, north on I-15 headed towards uh, Barstow. And we're going to stay, oh crap, car you cut right out in front of a semi. How dumb can you be? Anyways, we're taking the uh, I-15 up to uh, Vegas, and then into uh, Nevada. We're going to come into Cedar City, is it? Cedar City, Nevada? No, Cedar City, Utah. Into Utah. Come on, truck. Get up the hill, man. There you go. Holy crap. Talk about a gutless thing there for a little bit. And then um, once we get into, uh, then we're going to take the I-70 into um, Steamboat Springs. No, Steamboat Springs, and then they go north. No, that's not right. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember now. I'll have to look at the map. Oh, crap. I gotta, now i got to look at the map. Um, 15 into Barstow, Cedar City, I-70, Grand Junction. That's what I was thinking of, Grand Junction. And then we're going to go visit some friends in Steamboat Springs, and we're going to take the uh, 40 here into Denver. So it should be kind of interesting and unique and something a little different. But uh, Oh, crap! Wrong picture. That was a little scary there for a second. So we should have a good little drive. We should have a good little drive, and we need it because right now we are uh, negative $3,000 in the hole, believe it or not, yeah. Our uh, Christine, so far, she has made two trips. Oxnard and back. Uh, one hauling tires, the other one hauling clothes, I think. And so far, she's cost us $231. So I hope she, I hope she pulls ahead. I hope she gets her crafting gear and starts making us some money because, uh, yeah, like I said, we are overdrawn at the moment. But this trip is going to pay us, I think, well, I can tell you, it's going to pay us um, uh, $43,881. Yeah, we're negative 3000 bucks in the hole. It's Wednesday afternoon. One, come on, truck, stay in your lane, for crying out loud, stupid Kenworth. Crying out loud. Uh, so we need the money. We need the money. We need a good trip. So we should have fun. Doing, oh, look at that. Pulled over a Jeep. That's terrible. That's terrible. So what's going on in the world today? Let's see. I think um, you'll see this Saturday, because today is Friday. Today is Friday as I'm sitting down here doing some trucking. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's going to be about 40 degrees in my neck of the woods today, but oh crap. Oh, I think I hit 80 again. Gosh darn it, I better hit the cruise control. 78 degrees, yeah, I'm, I'm I squat. my little speed speed uh, speed sound so I don't go over the speed limit. I don't want to get those racing miles for crying out loud. No, we don't. Come on, little car. Little Prius alongside me. So, yeah. So, we got a good build trek, and I'm kind of looking forward to it hitting that I-40 there in Colorado. I tell you what, I uh, I remember back in the day doing some trucking. I was in Colorado with a guy named Newall. And I tell you what, man. That's oof -da. Man, guardrails, signs, Ditches. It, it was. It's chaotic trucking over there with that guy, but it was okay. It was. Um, it was good. It was good. Look at this. Now what's going on here? Well, I have a Jack Daniels truck. So Jack Daniels truck. They let, they let you go by. You have to have a special Jack Daniels truck. Yep. They're gonna let me go by. He's got the road blocked off here for no apparent reason. What's going on here? Yep, my buddy. Oh, road construction. Something. Yeah, when you get a Jack Daniels truck, you can just go right through the roadblocks. I enjoy that. I enjoy that immensely. Yeah, nothing better than that. Nothing better. On the road again. It's not that you gotta slow down though for all that crap. You, you know, you're just getting old. Oh, that's why the road is blocked. Oh. Oh, car on fire. Look at that. Better call an Uber. That sucks. 
charbroiled Prius there. Charbroiled Prius. You betcha. Anyways, what else can I say? Hmm. How many miles do I have left? <laughs> How many miles do I have left to go? Uh, what do we got? 1,077 miles to go. So right now it's Wednesday at 2.22 p.m. We're supposed to be there. Uh, you got to be kidding me. We can't be there Thursday morning. Are you high? That can't be right. No, that's not right. Oh, the way we're going now, Thursday. Yeah, okay. We have to be there till Friday morning to between 11 and 12. No, 11 in the morning to, uh, yeah, noon. Oh, okay. We don't have much of a window to get there, but uh, we should be able to do it. We should be able to do a lot of freeway driving until we get into Colorado, and then we got that uh, I-40, which should be an interesting drive. And uh, hopefully it's uh, not snowing up there. Being late in the year, you never know. It could be a little frosty winterland by the time we get there. But uh, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. It will all be good. Just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see, my friends. But, oh, look at that air balloon in the, in the uh, distance. That's nice. I like it. I like it. Oh. I hate that when these stupid vans come up right alongside you so fast as you're going to change lane. A Schneider Tanker truck. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's interesting. But the Freightliner is running pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed with the Freightliner. She's um, doing a good job. Sophie reading her book. Um, she likes that book. She is deep into that book. I mean, it must be a series, you know. You read one book and then it's like a, like a, a three-part series or something. I don't know what's going on. Twilight, maybe? No, that wouldn't be. She wouldn't read that crap. Stephen King, uh, Daniel Steele, Kaleidoscope. I don't know. Uh, who knows? You know, it's kind of odd. Is that why I knew the name of that book? I have no idea. Uh, I don't read Daniel Steele personally. Don't look at me. I was just um, thinking about a friend of mine. No, I don't. I don't read that garbage. I, matter of fact, I don't even know a whole lot of reading to be honest with you. Um, a couple of farming magazines, agricultural magazines I read, um, NRA magazine I read, um, occasionally Ducks Limited, yeah, stuff like that. Field of the Stream, Cabela's Catalog, you betcha. Never as a kid growing up when you get the J.C. Penney's Catalog, you know, it was like um, three stories tall. Holy, or the Sears one, J.C. Penney's Sears, doesn't matter. Holy crap, and I remember as a young kid thinking that you could cut out the pictures and they would be toys like you could just play with them you just cut them out and boom they'd be a toy really strange but uh, oh yeah the days of then you'd get a marker and you'd circle the ones you wanted you betcha oh that was good times back in the day back in the day matter of fact that uh, I was having trouble with a camera of mine and, and that, that new old trucker guy that I truck with sometimes he um, said he just got to blow it like the old Nintendo cartridges so it made me think of the old Nintendo games you know the big big ass cartridges like you're putting an eight track into an 8-track player. Probably some of you watching don't even know what an 8-track player is. But, uh, yeah, you'd blow, <laughs> you'd blow it up in the game with load. Oh, man. We had a little Nintendo sitting down in the lower level of the house that I grew up in. And, um, oh, yeah, my sister and I would play... Um, well, we had the power pad, for one. So you do track and field with the power pad. That was kind of cool. And then, of course, the body glove. You ever see the, the old Nintendo body glove? Yep. And the duck hunt gun. Oh, man. Yep. Tetris. Was a, we played a lot of Tetris. And then... Um, the one that we really played was Contra. And I still remember, well, I still remember this on top of my head. But when the game's loading, you go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, B, select, start. And then you'd get like, um, I don't know if it was like 50 lives or whatever compared to the three you normally get. Yeah. So you'd do that, you get real good, and then you would be able to go through and complete the whole game with only one life. It was pretty nice. And then my, my favorite gun was that sprinting gun. That sprinting gun. Yeah, that was a, that was a good gun. Uh, oh, boy. Back in the day when video games were so much fun. Not like this stupid crap games we have today. Stupid game, I quit. But, oh well. All in good fun. So I don't know, I was thinking about just uh, doing this whole entire trip in one little, sh or maybe a three-part shindig without stopping and starting all the time. But I don't know, we're 10 minutes into it, so people are probably bored and sleeping already. So maybe that would be the <laughs> end of part one. I don't know. You know, I gotta admit though, you know, I haven't done a lot of trucking lately. Well, um, you know, in the past three or four months, but then I just kind of got back into it now a little bit. And I tell you what, it's a good break from farming. I, I do miss farming. I was doing a lot of farming today, um, working on some stuff, but um, there's just something relaxing about sitting back and uh, taking a little drive in the old new Peterbilt or Fort Freight Shaker. 
don't even know what kind of truck I'm driving. Oh man, where in the heck are we? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Did we even get to Barstow yet? Um, oh no, we're coming up to Prim. Holy God, we are making we are making progress. Uh, Prim, yeah, we're going to Prim. Okay, uh, so we are making some progress. I like this. I like this truck with the GPS right there that I can see it. So I don't need that big thing open there. I like that. Then I can actually read the speed. Like that Freightliner Cascadia that I was driving. Uh, I like that dash because you can see the speed. I, I can't. Well, this this gauge ain't so bad. I, I can read this gauge, but some trucks the gauges are so tiny that you can't really see them. But I kind of like this one. Not only do I have a digital, but I also have the uh, the old style speed hour in there with the needle. So I can actually see how fast I'm going, so I don't go over 80. Can't go over 80. Don't want to go over 80. That's bad, 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 bad. And you know, believe it or not, I was the only one that got busted last night doing that. So that just pisses me off even more. Oh, everybody else is fine and dandy. Me, not so much. I lost like 1,200 miles too. It's just really annoying. Maybe there's even more than that. Where are we going? We're going. Um, oh, pickups. You know why do you do this kind of crap? There's a car in front of you. The slow drivers in the fast lane. Ah, annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. But, oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Because I'm a Barbie girl. Well, I hope that Christine gets gets up and moving because she needs to start making some money. Oh, a little, little accident over there. Ah, oh, a little fender bender. A little fender bender. Yeah, and last night I was doing some ATS trucking, and uh, new, uh, new, this new guy, he, his name keeps popping up for some reason, but he made me roll over. Yeah, made me roll over. I call it tow truck. It was just terrible. I don't roll over unless I'm around him, but I, it's just weird. It's just very, very weird. So now we uh, headed into. Uh, Vegas, coming through, um, coming through Prim here. Let me see. Do we leave on the? No, can we stay on the 15 through Vegas, all the way to? Um, yeah, in the enemy. In the, no, uh, Cedar, Cedar City. Yeah, then we go down the I um, I 70. My memory, my memory is bad. Sorry about that. But let's see. We'll just take a let's see. Well, Vegas is kind of cool to see. Well, we already we already been through Vegas once though, haven't we? We've already been through Vegas. Oh, here's Vegas. Oh crap, we're in Vegas already. We're just trucking right along, my friends. We are just trucking right along. What happens in Vegas? Yeah, we already told the Vegas story. We already been through Vegas one time. Yep. Didn't uh, one of the Siegfried and Roy? Didn't one of them die recently? I never did see them on stage, but I, th I think one of them just passed away not too long ago. Maybe I'm thinking things. But I do know that Clint Eastwood was the mayor of Carmel. I do know that, because I, I was talking to Nitro Dad on the phone when he was taking my trip. He told me that. I said, yeah, I, I knew that. I really, I totally forgot. But now I know. Now I know. Salt Lake City, Utah. Kind of looking forward to getting back to Colorado. I used to live in Colorado for uh, two, three years. And... Uh, Worked in a little town called Essos Park, Colorado. You betcha. So actually, Fort Collins, which was a garage in Fort Collins, the town on the map here, I uh, I lived in for a couple years. See, so yeah, I lived there for two years, then Essos Park for one year. Essos Park is up in the Rocky Mountain National Park. Oh, it's gorgeous up there. Absolutely gorgeous. You get a chance to go to Colorado, go to Essos Park, Rocky Mountain National Park, and then go see the um, the hotel. Um, in the movie, in the Stephen King movie. Um, um, oh crap! What was the name of the movie now? The two girls, Red Rum. Oh, is it? My mind. There's something confusing in my mind. But I think it was in the in the movie it was called The Overlook. But I can't name the the real one there. But that's where Stephen King went and wrote the wrote the uh, wrote the uh, book. But the movie wasn't filmed there. The, the newer version of that movie was filmed there. And. Um, I think that was with that guy that used to be on Wings, the TV show Wings. Ever watch that show? Uh, not Tim Daly guy, but the other, the brother. Um, I can't think of his real name. But he was in that movie. The newer TV version of it. And that was filmed there. Oh, and then also, um, <clears throat> if you ever watch Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber, 
when they um, come back in that Lamborghini Ferrari kind of thing, you know, they're all dressed up like idiots and they're carrying all the bags and they're walking up to the hotel. That's that hotel. That's that hotel where I, in the town that I worked. And I stayed there a few times. It is haunted, though. You're damn right it is. It's haunted. I've seen a ghost. I have actually seen a ghost there. Oh, crap. Airplane. He's flying low. Don't hit the mountain, buddy. Did you see that airplane that landed on the uh, freeway in um, Arden Hills, Minnesota, down by the cities? Yeah. Holy crap. A little, um, well, I think it was a single engine. I don't know if it was a Cessna or a Piper or a Bonanza or a Mooney, whatever it was. But yeah, it landed right on the freeway, I-35, and uh, hit a car, but nobody nobody was killed. Nobody was killed. That was kind of interesting. And they had the, they had the uh, DOT camera, so it was all on camera. Yeah, really interesting. But I suppose if your engine fails and you're kind of uh, hanging there, the freeway is a place to do it. And it was at nighttime, so I mean, probably left traffic. But luckily, nobody uh, got killed or got hurt. But yeah, it was interesting. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Well, we're through Vegas. Uh, let's see, we're through Vegas. Now we use the big one here. And now, where's the where's the next stop? Well, I can't see it up in up into Barstow. No, we already passed Barstow. Uh, Vegas into um, Cedar. I think it's Cedar City on the 15 here. Maybe we'll make it to Cedar City for the part one, and then. Um, Part two will go on with uh, with um, probably Cedar City to Steamboat Springs, maybe. And the last one will be the final trek. But we'll see how it goes. I just thought it'd be something different. I'd like to get down there and make some miles and uh, kind of go from there. And that way you get to see the sights. Um, oh, crap. I better start paying attention now. Sophie's still reading her book. Oh, 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 no, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. Ah, oh, shh, thankies. I did hit the guardrail. I hit the freaking guardrail. I didn't slow down in time. And I probably hit that guardrail more than one time. Yep, yeah, whoops. That was 8% trailer damage on that. Now there's some broken glassware back there that Zeke and Jackie are really going to fire my ass. Oh, man. I was doing so good, too. I just went a little too fast. I just went a little too fast. Oh, crap. That really puts a damper on the trip. This game sucks. This stupid game. Uh, whoops. Ooh, crap. Stay in my lane. Man, I really am the worst damn driver, ain't I? Everybody always tells me that, but I never thought that was true. Maybe, maybe I really am a terrible driver. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hard to say. Hard to say. Well, we're, well actually, maybe... Um, I'm getting a little tuckered. It's 6.20 in the evening, so maybe uh, we'll have to stop here and take a little siesta. Maybe we'll stop in... Um, well, see, I probably still could drive for another two hours, maybe? I'm trying to think. My, my little bed there is getting up there. Because here's St. George. I think we'll make it past St. George. We'll make it past St. George. We've driven uh, 450 miles. So far, we only got 813 miles to go. Hey, welcome to Utah. We are in Utah. I can bypass way station. I will do that. Have a safe journey. I already tried that, but I hit your damn guardrail back there. Uh, actually, that would have been... Uh... Wait a minute. Why did it say welcome to Utah? I've been in Utah for... Oh, no, I haven't been. I was in Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Now I'm, in, now I'm into Utah. Okay. I'll get my state straight one of these days. I will. I promise. St. George, Utah. I must have already discovered St. George. You know, it's kind of like last night driving through Fort Collins, Colorado. Couldn't discover the damn town. I mean, I drove on all the back streets. I drove in the ghetto. I drove to the business section, the industrial section. I could not get Fort Collins discovered. Absolutely crazy. Blew my mind. Bingham Road. U.S. Polo Association. There's a question mark there. I'm not going to drive in and, and look at them. No, I don't have time to drive in. Last time I drove somewhere to get a question mark, I was up in the logging trail. That wasn't so good. Now I got 8% down down my trailer because of a stupid guardrail. Sucks. Another U.S. Boy, they're really fancy on their U.S. Pole Association billboards, aren't they? That they are. Wow. Dixie State University. Is there such a thing as Dixie State University? I have no idea. Uh, it was made up or it was a real Dixie State University? No idea. We got a third U.S. Pole Association billboard. 
Holy crap, they're they're spending money. They're spending money. They're errands. There you go. Kind of a beautiful country though, you, you gotta admit, it really is um, cool uh, rock formations here. I don't know the name of this. I did, I did, I, well, I can't remember now. Don't think have the special name for it. Can't remember. Grand Canyon National Park, Zion National Park. Ooh, Grand Canyon National Park. So we must be on the north side of Grand Canyon National Park then, yeah, because when I visited it on the south side. Yeah, it must be on the north side of Grand Canyon? Well, no. We're quite a ways away from the Grand Canyon, aren't we? That'd be way south of us, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, crap, stay on the road. Stay on the road, 779. Yeah, we're just, we're just cruising right along, making good time. Well, I got about 70, 74. I could go a little bit faster. Get up to 76, 77s of the cruise. I'm getting better at setting the cruise. That, that way I don't have that stupid beeping sound in my head. My cruise is set there for some reason. Oh, guy parked inside the road. How many automobiles do you know that has the warning triangles to put out? Not many. Nope. Usually an only, only an 18 wheeler kind of thing. Or a work truck, I suppose. Must be climbing here a little bit. I got the pedal floored at 64. Some heavy glassware in the back, though. Heavy glassware. Sophie wouldn't let me sneak in a couple of Mexican hotties on this trip. She wouldn't. She doesn't. She's not a big fan of the Mexican hotties. No, she thinks that's wrong. But I say, hey, everybody needs a uh, little transportation now and then. But sometimes she's okay with it. Sometimes she's not. Today she was not. Uh oh. Another accident of sort. I could have been nice and let the Exxon Mobil guy go through, but I don't really like Exxon Mobil, so I'm not going to do it. What do we have here? Look at that! Walmart truck! Holy crap, a Walmart truck. Yeah, Walmart boxes all over the place. Huh. That's not good. Not good for Wally World. That's like a third accident we've seen so far, hasn't it been? I'll tell you what, crazy. Well, then again, we have been in three different states, so one accident per state, I guess that's not bad. Right, that's over on top of the hill there. The steeple over there. It's kind of cool. Ah, it's kind of cool. Cedar City, Utah. Probably look at the world map here and see where my next uh, place of rest is because it's 726. Been on the road since this morning. I think we got Sophie and I got loaded about 8:30, and it took us. Well, we were there about 8:30 to get loaded. I think we finally got loaded about 10:30. So we had a late start based on our loading time, but other than that, not too bad. Not too bad so far. I'm anxious. I did, I did fix some lights. I noticed in the last one that my lights were a little off in the front there. So I did fix them, and, and now everything's nice and kosher and neat. Look at that. Sophie's still reading her stupid book. So everything's nice. Whoa, wobbly truck. Wobbly truck. Oh, crap. Better just pay attention there. So I did get my lights fixed. They're nice and uh, kosher, and my OCD doesn't, it doesn't bother me anymore. So I got that fixed. And um, did I add, did I ha I added beacon lights to the side here, too. So I have that for um, the big liquor, the big liquor loads. You betcha, the big liquor loads. Oh, construction over there. Jack Daniels. Nice. Good stuff. So I suppose we probably should take a look now. We're 24 minutes in so we probably should take a look here to see where we can sleep and I don't see anything in the near future here um, maybe I should have stayed back there in Cedar City I was trying to hope to get to Colorado but I don't think we're gonna get there let's look at let's look at the uh, we'll put the auto auto uh, pilot on um, what are our options here Salina 
If we make it to Salina, how far is that? Because we don't have any, look at that, we don't have any resting spots until we get to Salina. So we're going to have to make it to Salina. Yep. Well, right up here we're going to get on the I-70 and then we can um, head in there to state. We can stay overnight in, in Salina there. We can maybe explore Salina a little bit. And then, um, and then the next day we'll head over. Next day we should make it from there, Salina, to Steamboat Springs. We'll make it to Steamboat Springs, and then the last one we'll just do our trip down to Denver and get unloaded. So that should work. And then I think I'm... I, I told Zeke and Jackie that I want to spend some time in Colorado, so hopefully they uh, will understand that. And um, let me stay here for just a little bit, because uh, it's only the second time that I've been in Colorado, uh, besides when I lived there. So... We'll have to see. Maybe we'll get some, just some, oh, crap, easy, uh, easy loads in the state of Colorado. You know, Colorado, they, they like to drink in Colorado. Yeah, they're big drinkers. So they, they need their oh, yellow card. Come on, yellow card. You got to let me get over. You jack of blope. Dingleberry. Wackadoodle. Yellow Prius sports car driven butthole. Yeah, and then he turns. Yeah, okay. maybe that's why he, that's, <laughs> that's why he wasn't letting it over. He's turning. So I 70 up to Salina, and we'll take a little siesta there. Negative 3,000. Then it'll be when we stop there. Remind me, let's check on Christina. Christina or Christina? And see if uh, she did a load today or not. Well, she probably didn't because I would have got. A notification that she did and had a little extra money, but the bank called me and they said, Hey, buddy, you're 3000 bucks overdrawn. I said, I know. You don't got to call and tell me that. I already know that. I'm not that dumb. So I said, Don't worry. Don't worry. There's some paydays coming in. So maybe in Salina here we can. Uh, whoa, hang on there, Bessie. We can um, probably put on fuel on there too, just for the heck of it. Going up into the mountains there, you never know. Gas fuel prices are a lot higher. So I had to get them down here below. Turn my lights on. See, now look at how nice that looks. If I don't crash here. Uh, whoa, baby. And then we turn the brights on. And you get all those nice lights on top and the bottom. Oh, that's 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 beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like it. I don't like the really, I don't really know about the ones on top. I kind of wish they were more amber or like LED clearance lights kind of thing. But they didn't have that option. In. Oh man, there's another beep beep. But we'll see. Oh heck yeah, I will be here in just a little bit. Sophie, did you just fart? No, I think she did. You hear that? She's tooting over there reading her book. So involved in her book. Unbelievable. Guard cat's in the back. Yep, guard cat's in the back. Just, he, he doesn't like laying in the bed for some reason. He hops up there, lays down for a little bit, then he goes back down and sits in his little spot. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, we're pretty close to this line here. It'll be just like in the nick of time. Here we are at 9.30, we'll get parked, have a bite to eat. Maybe I could have a beer or two, depending on what time we can get up and drive again. And uh, have a little siesta, and then we'll get up and uh, go in the morning. That'd be kind of nice. That'll be kind of nice. What does it say? Don't drink it. Oh, of course not. I wouldn't do that. That'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. Right, Sophie? Yep. I better get off here. Oh, there's a Loves. We could park in the Loves. We will park in the Loves and um, take a little nap. Right, Sophie? Are you on the same page? Have you just been reading the same page, or did you actually change pages? I don't know. It looks like she's on the same page. She at the end of a chapter there or something. I don't know. Was like, that a picture? Are you reading a picture book? I haven't talked to her more about it. Let's see. We'll go up here and go to the truck parking. Hey, a diner over there, too. Holy crap, we can have a little bite to eat at the diner, Sophie. Oh, did I miss the truck? Am I supposed to go through there? Usually, uh, they have a separate truck entrance. I haven't been here, though, before. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, we walk right across. Oh, look at that. An old truck in front of the diner. Nice little bank. Oh, it's a car wash. I don't think I'll fit so if we can get the truck washed. Sylvie, I'll even let you have an appetizer. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Well, now I'm in the wrong spot again. I didn't go down far enough. You can't get you can't get to the back spot. That's just dumb. They, they need better signs. They need better signs. It's stupid. Well, we'll try this again. No, 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 loop de loop. We're making a loop de loop, my friends. Yeah, see now here's ah uh, see they, they gotta mark they gotta mark that they gotta mark that better. What do we got in here? A scale. Holy crap! This is a pretty big uh, a pretty big parking lot back here. Holy buckets! Oh, let's just pull over there and we'll back up next to the other guys. back here. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Next to the dozer. Can't really see back there real well, can you? Two over to the left there. I'm right on the yellow line. Uh, I better straighten that out. That's pretty bad. I don't want that guy to get out there. And... Thought I was doing there pretty good there until the right to the end. Hey! Whack a doodle! Thought he was going to come here and take my spot. That guy probably would have just drove in instead of backing. He probably can't back up the semi. Oh, quit yawning, the dingleberry. There. Ah, that's a little better. Not as straight as I like to be, but. Oh, look at that. That's garbage. That's garbage parking. Oh, what happened? Oh, it kept rolling backwards. I was doing good. I was right about on. A couple more pe broken pieces of glass. That'll do it. There you go, my farming friends. Parking brake on. Um, perfect. We made it. Oh crap! Mirrors all over the place. We made it. Um, there you go. We are in uh, Salina, Utah, for our first jaunt. The next jaunt, we'll head up to uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And um, life is good. Life is good. But thanks for stopping in today. I appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, I like comments. I like comments. I know I'm tired. I'm at the frickin' rest area or the truck stop, you dink. Anyways, um, yeah. So anyways, hope you're staying safe and healthy, my friends. Have a good one. Enjoy the uh, weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time. So long.